Yo, what's up, guys? This is Pedro, and welcome to Pip Flow. Today's lesson is about uh, using the period separator or the session separator properly. All right. So um, let me share my screen, and then um, let's start. Okay. All right. So this is how my chat normally looks like before I start adding up stuff or whatsoever. All right. So this is what I normally do. What is a prayer separator or a session separator and what is the purpose? Now, session separator helps you to identify a range in price within a period of time. Okay, and the range that I'm talking about is the highest and the lowest point in a certain period. Okay, so um, if I'm going to mark out the low Okay, first, let's look at the part of uh, how to install a period separator. All right, now, how to insert a period separator? You use the shortcut key is the control and Y. Okay, you press and hold control and you press Y and insert a period separator. Or you press and hold it again and then uh, you press the Y and it, it, it's been taken out. All right, so we insert the period separator. Or the second and the, the, the other method is by right clicking on your chart, go to properties, and you go to common and you uncheck period separator here. All right. So I've checked it back again. Now, the next thing to do is to understand the breakdown of session separator. So um, for a daily view, daily range, okay, knowing how many, how much price traveled within a day or the areas. That price travel within a day you can see it from one minute to one hour right this tells us that when you go into one minute let me zoom out a little bit so that you can have a fair idea right so um when i let me go into this yesterday's area all right with this it tells you that this is the lowest area price got to the whole of yesterday right so with this, with this, you could see that price traveled to this level. If you don't know how to duplicate a trend line, okay, I have a video in my channel in the uh, MT4, uh, basics and MT4 uh, 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 playlist or something like that. All right, if you just search for MT4 and you'll find it in my channel. All right, I have. Uh, a video on creating a duplicate of tools or, or duplicating your tools so now um, um when we come here you could see that this was the lowest area price got to within a day and this was the highest point price got to within a day i wouldn't have gotten this information without the session separator the session separator helps me to identify the beginning of the day to the close of the day or the end of the day all right and this can only be seen from one minute to one hour one minute to one hour so that means from one minute right from one minute all the way to five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes to one hour gives you a daily range okay a daily range so that means when i come into 15 minutes i can still see the range in which price traveled when i come into uh, that was five minutes when i come into 15 minutes i can still see it 30 minutes to one hour i can still see the range in which price did what traveled you could see this when i go into four hour i see something else you see so i'm going to explain that as well so back into um, um one minute now i can take them out sorry now let me delete them now four hour gives you a range from monday to friday every four hour gives you a range from monday to friday that is a weekly range so now when you come to this chart you could see that we have a, a price traveling here so this is the lowest point in that week right and uh, this is the highest point in that week it helps you understand the range in which price is traveling right now um that is for four hour four hour only works gives you a weekly range 
now when it oh sorry this is one hour okay let me go into four hour yeah sorry so now four hour gives you a weekly range for monday to <clears throat> sorry monday to friday which is there right so this will help you organize your charts properly and understand price in a certain angle in which when you're advancing pip flow you will understand now when you go into um daily daily gives you a monthly view or a monthly range right so daily as well gives you from let's say um if this is june all right if this is june this is the highest point in june all right and this is the lowest point in june so you understand that price travel in this range and you have a fair idea of what to do to price okay so um <clears throat> this is it for daily all right so now let me go into weekly and monthly and then we are done so now weekly gives you a yearly view okay so this tells me that um this area was last year's highest point and this is last year's lowest range so this tells you that i um uh, traveled from this range to this range all right so now um weekly and monthly gives you the same range okay weekly still gives you the yearly low and then yearly highs yearly low and then yearly highs right so this is this year's high we are yet to know where price will get to price could keep on going lower or price will keep on going higher we can only confirm that by the end of the year right so this is what session separator is all about it helps you organize your chat it helps you uh, put things right with the pips right thank you so much i hope this helps you helped you don't forget to like share and subscribe all the best and uh, see ya